Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And well, we're going to talk about this piece of news that just came out today, um, meaning July 26. And this is a new, not really expansion, I believe this is like a, uh, a new... See, with Star Trek Online, they release what's called Seasons. So it's like content is released by season. Um, although they have done expansions. And the last expansion that they did was Victory is Life, which expands on Deep Space Nine and the Gamma Quadrant, the Dominion, and this uh, race called the Herc. Now, I've got a series of videos um, that you can check out on my channel um, where I play through uh, those stories um, so if you like Star Trek and you like Deep Space Nine and the characters go check that out because it's uh, it features many voices from Deep Space Nine uh, doing doing their characters again like uh, Major Kira and Odo and Quark and Rom and Nog so uh, Garrick and Julian Bashir. So yeah, if you like Deep Space Nine, then um, go ahead and check out that series of videos that I've got. Because not only do I do the playthrough, but I also talk and do uh, commentary and stuff like that. But anyway, so that was released just over the summer, like a couple of months ago. And now all of a sudden they've got this, <clears throat> which is supposed to release in the fall. And that is also when season two of Discovery is supposed to come out. Uh, so many are saying that, well, this is just some type of uh, cash grab. Well, I don't think Star Trek Online needs to do a cash grab. I think they're doing just fine. This, this here appears to me to be CBS's attempt at trying to draw attention to Star Trek Discovery, which I understand, I get that from a business point. But there are some problems um, in regards to what is going on with Discovery and what we've been having with Star Trek Online, and so I'll go over that. Um, there is a trailer here, so we'll just play that. And I'll give you the link to this uh, article also. There's not much to say, but... They've already got these two ships in the game. So, whoops, I don't want to play it again. So, that's pretty much all there is. Now, those two ships are already in the game, so um, they're, obviously, when they're making their animation, I can tell that's actually from the game. They just, they just uh, um, did a, what do you want to call it? Just an animation uh, with the two. And they may have worked in the little warp things of all the others, but... Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, it says that Star Trek Online is about to take you into the world of the latest Star Trek series, Star Trek Discovery. This fall on PC and soon after on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, captains will take the first step on a continuing journey to 2256 in the height of the Klingon War. For the very first time in Star Trek Online's history, we'll be updating the game in line with a currently airing Star Trek series. Now that's got me a little scared. Maybe I'm just reading a little bit too much into it, but when it talks about we'll be updating the game in line, I it almost seems like 
they're going to change things um, that have already been established in the game because in Star Trek Discovery the Klingons don't look anywhere close to what they were with um, the motion picture and next generation etc etc they look completely different um, the technology that's on the Discovery uh, is way beyond than what the original uh, Enterprise had with Kirk and see in, in Star Trek Online there there is a time travel uh, story um, there's also you can create a character from the 23rd century this is from the Agents of Yesterday expansion which is set during Kirk's era and it's got the uniforms and it's got that type of technology it, it shows the Klingons as they were from the original series um, so they've already worked into the game you know uh, establishing how the prime timeline goes with Kirk and Spock and uh, Picard and Cisco and Janeway they've got it all interconnected um, they also got Star Trek Enterprise uh, connected with it although you don't go back to that particular time period no actually yeah you do there is a part where you do go back to that time period that's right um, but if you remember from Star Trek Enterprise there was the time agent uh, Daniels and he is actually in, in the game and he and the actor reprised his role so I'm not sure how they're going, you know, how, how are they going to work this? Are they going to change everything that's in the game already to match what's done with Star Trek Discovery? Or is this Star Trek Discovery uh, uh, missions, are they just going to be um, its own little separate thing? You know, that that's what I'm a little concerned about. I'm okay with new content. Um, and although Star Trek Discovery is not one of my favorites it's okay um but and so if they have that in there and and it doesn't interfere with anything else i'm fine with it but if they change the whole game so that way it's in line uh with star trek discovery and then i'm not going to be very happy there's a lot of changes they've made to the game like they've removed certain stories they've taken stories and combined them um like the original tutorial story is not there anymore so i really hope they don't um do what i'm afraid they're gonna do there's even some voices in the game that have been replaced voices that i thought were perfectly fine but then when they get like um Armin Shimmerman to do voice work for the new expansion they they used his character and replaced another Ferengi that used to be in the game which I thought was a lot more interesting so it's stuff like that it's like did you really have to change that it really wasn't necessary but you know it's what it is anyway um, Age of Discovery opens in the year 2256 just after the battle at Binary Stars um, in case you haven't seen the show the battle at binary stars is where star trek discovery first starts um uh, like the first two episodes so this is just after that um in the wake of the brutal war against the klingon starfleet captains must face jaula matriarch of the house of mokai and sister of takuvna who seeks to alter the dis destiny of the Alpha Quadrant. Players will need to rely on the help of fellow Starfleet Academy cadet Sylvia Tilly. I like Tilly. <laughs> Played by Discovery actress Mary Wiseman. So it's cool that they're getting um, a current uh, actor, in this case actress, um, to reprise their role for the game like this quickly. That's cool. Who has come home to assist with training and see them off on their first assignment. From there, 
They will journey to iconic locations from Star Trek Discovery, like the dilithium mines of Corvan II, explore new experimental crossfield class starship. They already have the crossfield class, in case you're wondering, is the class of ship that the Discovery is based on, which is kind of an ugly ship. <laughs> The, the big triangle body with the huge saucer and the flat in the cells. Um, so the USS Glenn is uh, an experimental crossfield ship. And then defend Starbase 1 from a fearsome attack by the Klingon house. The first installment from Age of Discovery will introduce a reimagined starting experience. See, and that's got me a little concerned because they have reimagined starting experience that allows players to create a Federation character from the Discovery era. Now, I'm hoping what that means is that you can still create your Federation character like you can now, and then there's, a, there's one where you can create it back from the 23rd century. So I'm hoping this is just like that. So you can start one from the Discovery era and the, the stories and stuff will be a part of that. And then they'll be basically they're transported to the 25th century and you just continue with the regular stories from there. Um, there's going to be a new task force operation to defend Starbase 1 and new reputations that uh, expand the game's reputational system to tier six and unlock powerful new rewards. Um, and reputations, it's, uh, it's just these uh, set of uh, things that you can work on to get uh, gear and stuff for your ship, stuff for your characters as far as weapons and stuff like that. Um, and it's gone up to tier five and well, now they're going to expand it to tier six. So if you want to learn a little bit more about, um, Star Trek online, I have a video on my Chef Ramble series, um, about why is Star Trek online cool? Um, as a matter of fact, I'll include that at the very end of this uh, video, but I've got some gameplay of Star Trek online on this channel also. So you can check out check that out there because I talk about a lot of stuff. But anyway, uh, there's a link there where you can go watch Star Trek Discovery. Um, you have to subscribe to CBS All Access to get it. Um, there are free trials, so you could just uh, subscribe on the free trial, binge watch it, and then uh, then cancel cancel it can also get this through Amazon. Um, I noticed like through like a uh, PlayStation, you can subscribe to CBS All Access through Amazon. And then, so you don't have to do it directly at CBS's website. Cause that's, that's what I did. I did it through Amazon. I binge watched it and then I just canceled it. Cause I don't want CBS All Access for anything else. I mean, we got Netflix, we got Hulu, and we sh we don't need any more than that. Um, but this is it. So, um, like I said, I, I'm okay with you know additional content um, as long as it doesn't change everything that we already have. If it starts changing everything that we have, um, and if all the new content that's coming out is just this. Not so sure how happy I'm going to be with that, uh, but we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments, and I'll see you on the next rambling video. Did you like this video? Well, you might like some of these others. I've got tons of them on a variety of different topics. They are just down-to-earth conversations of things that happen to be going on at the time of recording. Subscribing is an awesome thing, too, because it notifies you of any new video uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll ramble again soon.